to order and the clerk will call the roll. Call the roll, Mr. Miller. Here. Mr. Tuma. Here. Ms. Simon. Here. Mr. Gallagher. Here. Mr. Shrine. Here. Ms. Brown. Here. Ms. Baker. Here. We have a quorum. Perfect attendance. That's the way we like to start 2020. Do we have anybody signed in for public comment? No, Mr. Chair, no one is signed in. We have in your packets the minutes from the December 9th meeting, the last meeting of Finance and Budget Committee. Do I have a motion relative to those minutes? Move we approve. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the minutes for the December 9th meeting. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed say no. Ayes have it, and the minutes from December 9th are approved. We have just one legislative item referred to the committee. Uh, please read Resolution 2019-0290 into the record. Resolution number 2019-0290, authorizing various sole source contracts with Manatron in the total amount not to exceed $620,301 for support and maintenance services for various Manatron systems for the period 1-1-2020 to December 31st, 2020. Good afternoon, uh, Lisa Rocco, Director of Operations for the Cuyahoga County Fiscal Office. This, con well, this contract is for annual maintenance for our real property tax system. Uh, it is a sole source because it's Manatron system that we use and deploy. The 494,000 is for the real property tax billing system. Uh, the 126,000 is for the Sigma CAMA system, which is the computer assisted mass appraisal system where we store the values, Cuyahoga County's values. Um, that's the system we use. Um, so this 620,000 has been appropriated in the current uh, budget and it's coming out of the real estate assessment fund. Okay, and uh, could you explain a little bit more about the visual property tax system, what that is? Our tax, our tax system, that's where we um, have all of our property records as far as um, special assessments, what the actual bills are, the gross tax, the rate times the value, all the um, homesteads, um, owner occupancy credits, any kind of cre exemptions, real property tax exemptions, that's all held in the visual system. And uh, how long have we been using Manitron? Since 2002. And how does the contract amount for 2020 compare with what it was for 2019? I don't believe there's a huge increase, Michael. Six percent. Six percent. Okay. Thank you. Uh, questions by my colleagues? Okay. Uh, I presume since this is supposed to start on 1-1-20 that you would like it passed under suspension at the next council meeting, is that? I'm going to leave that up to council's discretion, the committees. Um, we have not received an invoice. We have not received any updates to the, to the system. It can go through the three readings if the committee would like. Um, if not, I, we would appreciate, yes, passage on second. I think it's routine legislation that we've uh, we've done for many years, so I'm going to suggest uh, that we move for second reading suspension. But before we do that, I'm going to recognize Ms. Baker for a question. I'm seeing out the side of your eye there. Thanks. Um, just a quick question, because I'm not um, that familiar with this. This is just one year. Yes, we do it annually. They mm. only give us one year at a time. One year at a time. Wow. Yes. And it was a 6% increase just from last year. Has it continually increased 6%? Uh, could you please could you please, could you please come forward? And introduce yourself, please. Uh, Michael Zapola, fiscal office business manager. Is there a um, reason why they won't give more than a year? Uh, well, we haven't actually asked for more than a year. This kind of is, is the legacy system that should be, re be replaced under the Harris Project. 
So we've been going one year at a time. Excuse me, Mr. Zapolo, can you speak into the microphone? Oh, sorry. So you would, can you expect this to not be needed at some point in the future? Yes, and we actually built in a 30-day buyout, a 30-day escape clause into each contract that we've been using. When is the new system expected to be operational? We will know that answer after the first quarter. Um, I'm updating uh, Mr. Chambers on where we're at. Um, it's been longer than expected. We're hoping that we can move forward this year. Uh, the good thing about our contract is they're only paid on deliverables, so um, there's no additional money that has been added to the contract um, to replace Manitron. And uh, has a 6% increase from year to year been typical, or, or has it averaged less than that over the last? I believe it was 5% the year before, and then went to 6 and 6. Okay. It just... Is this a direct savings of the ERP when completely installed, or is this separate from that? It, this is separate from ERP. It's our tax system. Okay. So you're replacing this with what's An already? updated version, yes. Already there. Mm -hmm. And uh, is there a cost associated with that? Is that still another six or 700000 a year we can anticipate to pay? As far as when we go live, no. Again, we have, we are in a contract to replace this current system. Um, we have only expended part of that dollar because, again, it's based on deliverables. Okay. Uh, the contract is so we're just maintaining one system at this time, and we're working with the vendor in regards to um, the current contract that is in place that is expiring at the end of this year. The new system yeah. that we're bringing in, is this going to be a system that we operate ourselves, or is it a system that we contract for its operation like this one? It is supposed to be a system that we operate ourselves. And. Uh, how much do you think on an annual basis that it will require to operate that system? I can't answer that. I, I could find out. I could speak with I, the IT department, but I, I I don't know the answer to that question. Would you please uh, contact them and get yes. us an estimate on that? Yes. Okay. I would anticipate it would be less than 660, 620000 I mean, yes. is that the goal? Is to that try is, to... Yes, that is the goal. We're going yeah. to be one system and self-maintained. So, yes. And do it for less. Correct. Okay, I'd be interested in that number also. Other questions? Do we have a motion? I'll second. Uh, moving for suspension? Yes. Yes, okay. We have a motion. To refer resolution 2019-0290 to the full council with recommendation to leadership to put on the agenda for second reading suspension. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say no. Ayes have it. It is unanimously recommended. Uh, thank you very much. And thank you. Under miscellaneous business, I would just like to uh, bring to everybody's attention that the next uh, uh, finance and budget uh, committee review of the ERP system will be on Tuesday, the 21st. It, it's one day later than usual because of the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday, so it'll be on Tuesday, the 21st at 1 o'clock, and then the, uh, uh, the discussion with our consultant, Zig Berzins, will be two days later on, on Thursday at 10 a.m., and that will be in the Committee of the Whole. Is there any other miscellaneous business? Hearing none, there is no further business that commands our attention, so we stand adjourned. Thank you very much.